what is the difference between spinal cord measurements uh, obtained from spinal cord MRIs and brain MRIs. Back in 2017, we used spinal cord MRIs um, to obtain areas from C2 to C7, each level in the entire cervical spinal cord, and we averaged them to calculate the average segmental cord area. We found that the patients with SPMS who were within their one year of progressive MS onset had uh, lower uh, areas at C7 level, also had lower every segmental areas compared to age matched RAS and RRMS individuals, but we didn't find the same difference at the C2 level. So by using the spinal cord MRIs, we were able to study the entire cord entire cervical spinal cord and we were able to see this difference becoming more prominent at the lower parts of the uh, cervical spinal cord and this also of course uh, reflects the craniocaudal pattern of atrophy but of course like many groups in MS are using we can use the brain MRIs to quantify the cervical spinal cord volumes because uh, the brain MRIs are more accessible in the clinical practice and by um, using the existing MRIs we can save acquisition times but the limit is we are only able to quantify the upper uh, cervical spinal cord areas uh, instead of the entire spinal cord uh, volume uh, when we study the uh, when we use the brain MRIs.